Okay, starting, I'm going to do page 107, 108, 109, back to back. One out eight. And this is 109. This is one I did not work on as much, but I put it in here as an option. Um, so I'm going to play it one more time. mention one thing. I don't know if it's noticeable from the angle of the computer, the laptop, but I would think overhead it would be. Um, when there is a gap in the music, oh my gosh, and I'm sorry, my cat's over there um, with the claws on the screen and it makes this little percussion sound. I kept looking over because I didn't know what it was. Um, Bosco, no, no, no. Every time I teach online, he comes here, I swear. Whenever I'm setting up to teach, here he is. Um, I guess that's a cat for you. The point I was making is, in these slow videos, it may be more obvious. And this is really, it's a good thing to work into your practice. Um, when you start practicing things, you do little bits, little sections, you get things to come together. Then you kind of step back. Oh gosh, and he's banging over there. Bosco, no, 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 no. Kitty, no. Oh. Come here, come away from the window. Sorry. Um, when there's a gap, like the melody goes, let's see, where's a place where it happened? Like I'm looking at 109, right hand, end of the second line, this is in measure three. Now look at my right hand. I've got three beats of rest. 
that's the time during that time I reposition my hand for me this just kind of it happens automatically partially because I've been teaching these songs for years but partially because when you play for longer when you get better at reading music and for many people it really does take a long time I was excellent at piano I was very advanced as a teenager and I thought I read well because I could learn anything but I didn't know till I was in college. I didn't really understand what sight reading was, the ability to read both hands together even more quickly. Um, so I worked on that for a couple of years. And that gets better when you work at it, that gets better. And when you get better at sight reading, what you do is you learn with your eyes to take in more at once. You kind of see what's coming up ahead. When I see that rest, my eyes, even as I'm playing what I'm playing, I kind of even during sight reading, to a certain extent, memorize the little bit I'm looking at. In that instant, memorize it, and I'm already scanning to see what's coming up. Maybe it's like driving. You're driving down the road. The driving becomes automatic. You don't think about pushing your foot down on the gas pedal. You think about going, and your body knows what to do. But at the same time, if you're a good driver, you're scanning for what's ahead in traffic. You're looking at speed limit signs. You're checking the rearview mirrors. It's kind of like that. So when there's a break, I reposition my hand more quickly. As a beginner, that's probably not going to be something that you can do automatically. But as you learn pieces, once you've kind of figured the notes out and you're practicing them, you can actually build that in. And using the same place as an example, I'm starting line two, page 109, line two, measure three. Let's say I'm still going slow. I'm still working it out. At this point here, my right hand is done. So during practice, I could kind of slow this down and move my right hand. And if I were to do that three, four, five times, to a certain extent, that starts becoming automated, just the way when you were a child, you learned how to walk, um, you learned how to dribble a basketball, shoot hoops, anything like that. You practice a physical motion, your body starts kind of streamlining those steps. So at, at this level, like a second term, you know, weeks 11 to 20 in piano, for most people, they don't even read that well. They, they, to a certain extent, they figure it out, but there's a lot of memorization. And in, in my opinion, that's fine. Um, it's still very early. You've got a long time. So that being said, <clears throat> that means we now have videos. Last week was everything for the final. This week is the blues. And I'm just going to add in 89 and 90. That way, anyone who got behind doesn't have to go back and search through videos they can first just try these videos, and it may be enough. And if not, then you're going to have to actually go back. On YouTube, I try to write down the songs I play in every video. Um, and some I did over several classes. But this way, we've got them slow, all in one place. So we're going to look at page 89. This is a challenge. Um, when we came up to it at this point, like in learning piano, like week, I don't know, 13 to 14 maybe, something like that. A lot of stuff that's new, assuming you didn't have piano before this class. So I completely understand that I try to break things down into little steps. I've demonstrated the, the rhythm we have here with the dotted rhythm. And I stressed in the beginning of the class certain things. Um, this. I really stress that you need to start working on this pattern because it will be coming up. So at this point, all I'm doing is slowly all the way through. Then I'm going to do the next one and then we're going to be done for today, unless there's questions.
fermata, hold that out. <clears throat> And for anybody who did not, there's just a couple of you that haven't completed um, the quiz too. If you're still not ready with either of these, this next one is the easier technically. And at this point in the term, I would just, if you're, if you're behind, I would just work on 90. Notice the right hand right positions. <laughs> Left hand's going to reposition. That's where the quiz stops, but DC Alfie name means go back to the beginning. Second time, slow down. Fine, and that double bar mean now we stop. <clears throat> 